The Fremont County Sheriff tells 13 investigates several accused criminals are mocking his deputies, claiming there are, quote, no repercussions for their alleged crimes. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live outside the Fremont County Sheriff's Office tonight to explain why the sheriff thinks that's happening. Sean. And Barton Heather, here in Colorado, judges set both bond amounts and types, whether that be cash bond or no cash bond, after hearing oral arguments from both prosecutors and defense attorneys. But the Fremont County Sheriff tells 13 Investigates that many times the district attorney's office isn't even showing up to these hearings to argue on behalf of the community and public safety, which means more people are getting out of jail even sooner. Over and over again. As a matter of fact, the people that are incarcerated uh, in our facility openly talk about it. He's talking about inmates in the Fremont County Jail. Sheriff Alan Cooper says people charged with serious crimes are openly talking about being released from jail on no cash bonds. All seven of these men were charged with sex assault on children or women in the Fremont County community. All had their cases dismissed or were able to get out of jail without paying any cash because the district attorney's office failed to properly turn over evidence to their attorneys. One of those men, Derek Tholson, was rearrested last week on felony burglary charges. And during his arrest, he told Canyon City police officers he was fine going back to the Fremont County Jail because he was, quote, going to get out on a PR bond tomorrow, so it was fine. Mostly that it's, you know, there's no uh, repercussions. You know, it is an inconvenience for them to go through the booking process. Sometimes they may spend uh, some time within the facility. Uh, sometimes they don't. Uh, the work for my folks is the same regardless. Sheriff Cooper and his deputies have a risk assessment tool in place where they provide recommendations to the DA's office on factors including risk to reoffend and failure to appear in court. But the sheriff says Fremont County prosecutors aren't using it. What is it about the 11th that... It, that that occurs. The one question I would ask is what's different between the 11th and the other judicial districts? What do you think it is? It's the district attorney. Like she has done on numerous occasions, District Attorney Linda Stanley has not responded to 13 investigates requests for comment on multiple case dismissals or the continued and ongoing criticisms from law enforcement. Reporting live in Fremont County, Sean Rice, 13 Investigate. Hmm. Sean, thanks.